What we have here today are two identical compact SUVs. One is the very popular Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, and the second one is the new kid on the block, the Toyota Urban Cruiser. Identical? Yes, they are one and the same car. You see, Toyota and Suzuki have a global partnership to share models and technology. In India, Toyota had previously leveraged that partnership to enter the premium hatchback space with the Maruti Baleno based Toyota Glanza. The Maruti Vitara Brezza based urban cruiser is Toyota's entry to the big sales compact SUV segment. However, Toyota has made more of an effort to distinguish its own version this time around. We've got both the cars lined up for you side by side to see the difference. Both these cars were distinct family design traits when viewed head-on. Their LED headlamps are identical, however the Urban Cruiser's front grille looks like it has been lifted off a Fortuner. And it's due to the styling of its prominent fog lamp housings, the front bumper looks unmistakably Toyota. Their side profile, however, sees no changes. And it is difficult to tell them apart, save for their brand logos on the hubcaps. At the rear too, the changes are subtle. Logos aside, the chrome applique reads Urban Cruiser and even the cladding on the bumper looks a bit different. As for the interior, if you've been in a Brezza, you've been inside an Urban Cruiser. While there are still some styling changes on the outside compared to the Brezza, on the inside it is identical, down to the key which is absolutely the same. The only change here is the colour of the seats and the fabric inserts on the door pads which are brown. So the front seats are nice and comfortable, you're seated in a high SUV-like position and all the controls fall to hand very nicely. Now the layout is nice and practical and very minimalistic, the design however and the fit finish doesn't match its Korean rivals. And there's nothing new to report from the back seat. Just like the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, the seating in the Urban Cruiser is a bit high at the back, so you have a nice theatre-like seating with good visibility up front and on the sides. There's ample space here, so there's enough knee room, enough headroom. The seat itself is really comfortable and it's a good place to be for those who are chauffeur-driven. It gets plenty of storage bits like these cup holders, a nifty baggage hook, and some more areas for knickknacks. What is missing are rear AC vents and a charging provision. And while on the topic of practicality, the boot is reasonably large at 328 litres and you also get the option of 60-40 split rear seats for better flexibility. As you've guessed, the Urban Cruiser offers the same engine and gearbox options as the Vitara Brezza. The engine is a 1.5-litre naturally aspirated petrol unit that is offered with a 5-speed manual gearbox and gets mild hybrid tech when paired with the 4-speed automatic. There is no diesel engine on offer here. The driving experience is just as it is in a Brezza. You must have heard the saying, there is no replacement for displacement. And this 1.5-litre petrol engine holds a distinct advantage compared to its turbo petrol rivals when it comes to on-tap responses. This engine is pretty zippy around town and it has adequate performance to keep most people happy. When you are ambling around in a higher gear and put your foot down, there's enough pep to pull forward and close in those gaps. So as a city commuter, this engine is just fine making life even easier are the light controls. The clutch is well judged and very light and this 5-speed manual gearbox is easy to use. Spin this motor beyond 2000 rpm and that's where you'll miss that surge of performance like you get in the turbo petrols or even the diesel SUVs. Yes, you can spin this motor all the way to 6000 rpm to extract the max performance from this motor but that's not how you drive on a day-to-day -day basis, would you? While cruising at 100 km per hour in 5th gear, this car is doing 3000 rpm. 
So it's working a lot harder than rivals which have six gears, which are spinning at around 2,000-2,200 rpm. Also, while cruising at highway speeds, you can hear a lot of road and tyre noise. The steering is nice and light, which makes manoeuvring this car around town very easy. But if you are a keen driver and want a bit more engaging feel, you'd be happy with the Ford EcoSport or the Tata Nexon, whose steering feels a lot more direct, a lot sharper in comparison. And is the Urban Cruiser capable enough over bad roads? Yes, it is tough in its construction and isn't a car that will plead you to slow down at the side of bad roads. And the ride is quite flat and quite planted. The Brezza, which the Urban Cruiser is based on, has been crash tested by Global NCAP and it secured a respectable 4 stars due to its tough construction. Having said that, the Toyota Urban Cruiser still lacks the safety features which are available in some of its rivals like ESP, siren curtain airbags and rear disc brakes. And while on the topic of features, let's take a look at the Urban Cruiser's feature list. The Toyota is priced almost at par with the Maruti Brezza to begin with. However, prospective buyers will find value in its longer 3-year or 1 lakh km standard warranty compared to Maruti's 2-year or 40,000 km. So the key factors which set the Toyota apart from the Maruti are its longer warranty and its distinct front-end styling. For some, it might just be the lure of the Toyota badge. The Urban Cruiser is spacious, comfortable and user-friendly and like the Brezza, it is an unexciting yet sensible SUV, one that you just can't go wrong with.